Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Robocraft with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome back to Factory Fun, the sub-series in which you tell me which robot I should rent from the store, and I write it out of five in style and combat, in addition to giving my honest first impressions, be they truthful, or be they a little bit misinformed after only a couple of matches. But anyway, let's continue. We have today Te Painful Ambulance by Little Buddy 13. So, first of all, this thing is adorable. It looks like a little kind of wedge shaped ambulance. It's really cutely made, particularly because of the huge wheels. It looks a little bit more like a cart, honestly, than an actual ambulance. I would say it's almost an art build, but not quite. It does have mostly red cubes on the inside by the looks of it, so I imagine it's a little bit more sturdy than it actually looks, although I am fairly certain that the seat's connections to the sides might be a major weak point. Here's hoping that the very low ranking shields might help out a little bit. I have a feeling like this is going to be one of those bots which is really fun to use, but won't particularly do the best. I mean, it's certainly not a competitively built robot, but it looks a lot of fun. I think that's the important thing. So, let's hire the bot, let's get into a couple of team death matches, and let's see just how it can actually do. But first of all, how many blocks is it using? It's currently using 857 CPU, and, well, apparently the sides of the deck are a little bit buggy there. The sides of the bay seem to want to be flashy at the moment. Well, let's ignore that, and let's carry on. First match and let's go! I now realise this thing is covered in lights as well. I didn't actually notice the side ones for some reason. But still, we are essentially a medic disco ball. A medic cart ambulance thing. Okay, we're going down this route apparently, so let's go ahead and follow our team. Hopefully the rest of our guys will come as well. That would be fantastic. Yeah, this thing handles like a little cart. Only having four wheels does make a very interesting set of um, controls. Now here's the question. Do I keep the lights on to dazzle rails? Or do I uh, turn them off to make myself a little bit more uh, hidden, even if only by a tiny margin? That would be really nice. Is that a ski bot? That's a really tanky looking ski bot. I'm going to go with the ski bot. A lot of respect for him tanky skis. Sleds. Tanky sleds. That's the term I'm looking for. Well, if that cop can come down here, I can give him a bit of healing. There we are. Yeah, well, the guns have a good arc of fire, so that's nice to see as well. Hopefully, our little SMG guy there will get a shot on the pl plasma in a second. I feel like, oh, you're in my way, but I think that's mostly my fault, honestly. Okay, there we go. So stay back, and hopefully our team will gather around. Do the enemy team have a healer? Yes, they do. Always good to know. We have two healers, in fact. And here's, they have one healer, we have two, okay. Here you go, copter healer. I like that copter healer. I don't know what it's about him, but he just looks really sci-fi. Sci-fi? 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 That's a really word to say. A really weird word to say. It's a really word, word, this word, honestly. Oops. Oh, that poor little mech fell on his butt. How cute. There we go. I also keep forgetting that ice is significantly easier to actually ride on now than it used to be. I remember back in my day where ice was just absolutely horrendous. Is that bomber going to crash? Yes it is, so I should be healing him. However, I don't want to die myself, so I'm going to be a bit of a selfish bugger and stay with the pack. Well, I missed the spot because I tried to spot the wrong person. Well, at least we're healing the medic, who's upside down by the looks of it. Yep. I knew that's going. Wow, showing the um, frail nature of having white cubes, I suppose. Hopefully, someone will take out that bomber soon. Hopefully, one of our SMGs will focus on, on it. Look to the skies, my friend. Oop, controls have bugged out a little bit there. That's really weird. And we're back to normal. Okay, that was bizarre. Left became right there for a second. It was very, very confuzzling. Okay, I'll be feeling for you. And a perfect little stop there. Okay, if someone can take that guy out, that would be wonderful. That's it, guys. Keep on burst firing. I believe in every last one of you. That's a really weird guy. Oh, it wasn't upside down. It had a rotor on the bottom as well. I didn't notice. Kind of want the kill, but honestly, it'll take too long to get there. 
I'd rather just secure some more points here. Well, I will say this was a lot of fun to use, but that plasma kind of indicated, well, this thing seems to fall apart fairly easily, as it wasn't even a direct hit. But we did get top, so I can't complain too much. Well, uh, let's have a little breakdown then. The medic guns are really well placed, it controls really well, and it looks really cute. So it does everything I expected, and it does certain aspects of that better than I expected. Most of the ranking obviously is in the weapons and the wheels, so it's a functional bot. It's got a really weird picture there, I mean normally they have more head-on, but that's okay. So combat, I think we're leaving at a 4. Mostly because of the controls are so good. Oh, sorry, a three rather. Mostly because the controls are so good. I would say maybe three and a half, but leaning towards three. Style is a good four. It's just cute. I wouldn't say five because it's not really detailed enough. But I, I think that's a very, I think that's a very nice ranking there. Very nice writing. It's just a decent bar. So I have no real major complaints other than it's a little bit frail. But that's to be expected when using mostly white cubes. I would say go a little bit bigger, but then that has. A whole host of problems as well, mostly in terms of control and things like that. So, let's get into a second battle and see if we can replicate our first score. Will the cursed map be enough to defeat Tepainful Ambulance? Who knows? Well, we're going to find out anyway. Shall I stick with the rails and stay a bit further back, or shall I go with the main group? I feel like this is a medic that should stay back as much as possible, really rather than being out there in the main battle. So let's stay here. Let's just go along the side and let's see if we can help out where we can. On the upside, this thing is pretty quick, purely because of how light it is, so that's pretty nice. It's got a nice acceleration to it. And our rail's already been hurt, so I'm going to back off, heal that rail a little bit, then stay back again. Ooh. Hopefully someone takes out that plasma bomb before it gets any more damage done on, on the rail, because it's making me incredibly vulnerable. See previous statement, I feel like we're going to die straight away here. Honestly. Oh, that rail is going down. Can we make it survive? Probably not, that fell in a really bad place. Now I've got to make myself vulnerable, otherwise my guns can't hit it. Oh, that one rail was clearly AFK there at the start. Come on, move with me please, thank you. Don't stay where we were then. There we are, you're completely back in the fight, and I don't know why that bomber didn't take the chance to completely obliterate us then, honestly. Also, really wish the rail had gone for the bomber, which was killing us. Well, killing him anyway, that would have made more sense. Ow! That's mean! It's a painful ambulance living up to its name! There we go! <laughs> what a tiny little cute bot! Oh, look how much damage it did to me, though! Okay, yeah, so it is like a red block on the very inside, so it does have some survivability. I guess that's one of the things. It will look like it falls apart more than it actually does, because the white blocks will simply vanish. And is that a Reaper? Those things still exist? I'm actually a little bit surprised, honestly. Yeah, we did some damage to it! We took out a wing! We took <laughs> take that! Goodbye, sir. Wait, did we take out a wing? I don't think we did. Either way, we definitely did something to it. Its control went mental. Perhaps we took out a thruster. Well, we killed a Reaper with a medic. You know what? This is probably the best spot ever made. There was a rail trying to kill us. Ow! Plasma from... I don't actually know where... Okay, behind us, apparently. Yeah, it's a flyer. Hopefully one of our guys can take it out before it, well, kills me. Oh, yeah, it's down there now. Yes, that was taken out in a second. Medic! Medic needs assistance, medic. Ow. Oh, please look behind you. I can't move very well. There we are, he's back... Back of... <coughs> Back at full health. I do apologise. Massive coughing fit there. Hopefully I've took away the vast majority of that. Editing is amazing, although I may keep the very start in there because I've never struggled for a word quite as much as then. It felt like someone was choking me. That was a lovely good, a lovely bit to do during a Let's Play. Well, I guess it isn't really Let's Play, is it during a review video, I suppose. Oh, ooh. okay, Medic, thank you for healing me. Clearly I needed a Medic a lot there. How? Who? What? Where? When? How? Why? I don't even know where that was! Thank you, Medic. 
You know what, this has some, to be fair, as much as I did say this thing is frail, it has survived a little bit more than I expected, to be perfectly honest, so I do have to give it some credit there. Okay, you heal me, I'll, I'll, I'll heal, you, heal you, and let's go on, on the offensive. Thank you. And team victory regardless, what a shame. Okay, topper get- oh, look how much we've healed. We have healed Leet. Okay, so once again first place. Absolutely wonderful. Twice in a row. We got 420 on the score and Leet on the on the healing done. Now I'm going to take a little break to get a drink and try not to suffocate while doing a recording. And I'll be right back. We are back again and this time I am fueled by various beverages. So hopefully I won't be choking to death halfway through the recording. That would be preferable. What on earth is going on with that SMG? That is... actually rather cool. Although I am a little bit saddened to see it completely made out of one coloured block. I think that could have been look that could look even better with a little bit of colour variation, but oh well. No complaining here. Well, mild complaining and mostly just grumbling about little things. Because that's important in life, yo. Are we going to just sit here? Is this our little perch for today? Maybe it is. <laughs> that looks so graceful. I don't know if, if it was actually his intention to go over the cliff, but it was graceful nonetheless. Just like our little spin down the cliff. What's better, jumping off a cliff or down a cliff or spinning along it? I think spinning, honestly. You hit that air good, sir. You hit that air real good. Oh, there's someone up there. Spy him. There we go. Hopefully our rail will pick him up. Oh, I think he will. Yes, there we go. My spot led to victory. The enemy team is really losing this one. Not a good start at all. I will say though, before we got into this match, I was disconnected from three matches. So that was a load of fun. Just a little thing there. Don't know what happened. Every time I got into a match, I got disconnected, reloaded the game, disconnected. A little bit of server insanity, it seems. It's good for the blood. It's It makes you appreciate matches where you can actually stay in them. Oh, bomber, if you come down, you can get a heal. Oh, well, I don't think I had much control over that descent, honestly. Uh, do I heal the front lines or heal the bomber? I think for now, heal, healing the front lines would be better, but uh, yeah, let's go back to the bomber. There you go. You can fly once more, my, my little compact friend. Oh, wow. If you stay there, you will get healed too. No, stay, stay, stay. There we go. And that is why ejector seats can be awesome even in team deathmatch. You will live to fight again another day, sir. And of course, this means I actually get some RP and some ranking. Hurrah for that. Even if it is at the cost of a little bit of stammering. There's one enemy left, I think. Yeah, that's it. And team. Oh, I wanted to do a little bit of capping. Oh, no, we weren't first that time. But, will we be first next time? And we're back, and apparently a couple of people have got into the same match with us. One of the rails is the same, and apparently the little tiny plasma bomber is as well. So hurrah for that, we are a team that sticks together forever. So let's see how we do this time. I think we have split up a little bit more than I wanted to. Oh, no, they are now coming back up here. That's fantastic. We'll try and stay with the SMG as much as possible as well. We can hide behind him for a start. And he looks quite tanky due to a pretty high block count by the looks of it, which is always a good thing. Even though he does seem to love thrusters with his tracks, which is a little bit... Uh, a little bit wasteful in CPU. But it does look cool. I've got to hand him that. Which is half of the battle. There's no one staying with the rail. Okay, turning around. Let's go back to the rail and try and heal him up as much as possible. Okay, that SMG's already got a healer, so that's fine. If I can stick with these two rails, that's going to be really helpful for us. Hopefully that's an allied shadow and not an evil shadow. Just keep moving, don't make ourselves an easy target. And try and stay as far back as possible to avoid those plasma splashes. All is good! I will say, this is a very fun bot to use. It is like riding a go-kart. In all the right ways. Oh, I think there's an enemy there with, with an ejector seat, I'm guessing. A laggy ejector seat. Oh. Oh, have I just been disconnected? No. Good. Okay. Server problems, ahoy. 
Seems like everything's okay now, though, which is good. All the medics on the medic. There we go. Wow, this guy takes a long time to heal. Are those tier 7 cubes? Ow. Apparently they may have a rail. Get in there, our rail. Kill their rail. Our rail's better than your rail. Because our rail's being healed by the best. Which is us three. What's that SMG doing? It's very far away from the main fight. Does he need a heal? Not really. Neither does our copter. The plasma down there needs a heal, but he has got a healer next to him, so that should be fine. Medic copter over there, so there must be someone being healed, or at least some purpose for him to be there. I'm going to stay back a little bit, don't want to be on the front lines. Now I'll slowly make our way to this corner and hide here. Oh, there's that little guy again, the tiny little ejector seat. Come close to us, we're a medic. Medics can actually aim at things like that. That's one of the most erratic looking... That, that is one of the most erratic looking ejector seats I've ever seen. There we go, well done that other medic, although you were about to be railed. It's a medic copter, okay. Where's the rail then? Excuse me. Oh, come on. I, I made a long walk to try and get that. Hello, Mr. Sabre. You're healed too. Oh, there's an injured rail behind us. Let's go and heal that. And your one's again airborne. That's a really cute little copter. It kind, of it kind of looks like a drone, which is always nice. Oh, there he is, up there. Come on, little rail. Come down from your hiding place. Unless I can actually get up. I doubt I can, being a cruiser, but... Oh, no, not quite. Oh, no, he came down after all. We could have just been sitting there waiting, but sadly not. Oh, well, still a very nice match indeed, even if I am still struggling to speak after the massive coughing fit only a few minutes ago. Let's get into one last battle and see if we can continue our winning streak. And so begins the final battle. Let's see how well we do. It seems like we've got a very confused little reaper on our team and quite a few medics. We have four medics. Well, at least the team won't be destroyed that easily at least. And here's hoping we can survive enough to actually get healed ourselves as well. That's a cute little kind of pogo medic there. Well, I guess we're going to the front line, since everyone else is. I mean, we may as well be where the people are being hurt. Their pain is our gain. And our gain is helpful, actually. Come on, there we are, medic. One medic healing another. Is there a more truer act of pure love? Oh, don't get stuck. I do have a feeling that because this thing only has four wheels, it could probably get stuck on certain, like, um, hilltops and such. It's just one of those things that tends to happen, sadly. Both in real life and in game. So it's ca oh, that's a really nice looking little rail bot. I only got three guns, but really nice looking. Please don't flip, please don't flip, please don't flip. And yes, the medic survives. I will say the controls are a little bit sharp. If you start turning, this thing does a full turn, so it can be a little bit finicky sometimes, but still. I think we may have just lost someone. No, we didn't. Okay, just a lot of damage being dealt. I thought one of our guys has exploded. Most of them are still alive, so I doubt we're going to get this cap. There's a guy over there, but I think we're already firing at him, so that's good. There we are. And a very weird-looking walker. I do appreciate that some walkers don't go with the standard um, leg kind of placement. Wow, that bomber just went straight down. Wow. That was to the SMG fire as well. Should I heal that plasma? Uh, yeah, man. Oh, no, no. The medic's already going towards him. We'll be fine here. Just speed up the cap. A little bit cowardly, admittedly, but but we should get the victory. That was really confusing. Why does it flip so much then? Huh. Is it the shield? Oh, I think it's the shield placement. They bump into the ground when you're doing that and make it and make it kind of jump a little bit more than it should. That's really bizarre. 
Either way, a victory, not really doing too much in the last battle, but still. So, let's give my final thoughts about this bot, and of course, shill the series. So, first of all, let's do a bit of shilling. If you do want to see your robot being critiqued, being viewed, and being played on the series, then of course leave it in the comments below. Please give me both your Robocraft in-game username and the name of the robot itself. If you do not give both of these pieces information, I will not be searching it, as the Robo Shop has been known to be incredibly difficult to use sometimes in finding particular robots. Also, please remember that the Robo Shop is caps lock sensitive, which means if you have te painful ambulance, make Make sure that Te Painful Ambulance has all the capital letters on the Te, well, the T in Te, the P in Painful, and the A in Ambulance. Otherwise, again, I won't find it. So, final opinions. It's a really cute bot. It does exactly what you'd think it would do, and it's even a little bit sturdier than I, f than I first gave it credit for. The turning is a little bit harsh, but I think that's because of the shielding being so low that it occasionally clips on the floor, and of course the fact it only has four wheels, making it very, very liable to do very sharp turns, even when you don't want to. But other than that, there's not much to complain about, honestly. It does exactly what you want it to. It looks cute, it moves quickly, and the weapons are placed very well, so healing forward and even healing sideways to a certain extent is absolutely fine. And in fact, healing backwards by the looks of it should have been absolutely fine as well, so I think I stand by my ratings, perhaps moving combat to 4 because it is surprisingly good, but other than that, I think 3 and 4 really is a good ranking for this. And with that, I do hope you've enjoyed the video, but I am all out of time time. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Robocraft is a series you wish to see continued in the future, and in particular, factory fun. So once again, thank you for watching, and goodbye.